we don't have we didn't have poison ivy and poison oak in uh, California. At least not in the part of California I live. We have um, lots here. Yeah. Well, in fact, this is the problem. I go out into my, I was in the, my backyard and there's all these vines and they're choking all these trees and I go out there and I go, oh, you know, I should just go pull those things down. And so I walk out there and I'm pulling them down. Yeah. And about, uh, about five days later, I'm in Washington, D.C. and I have this rash that all of a sudden started to show up around my belt line. So the other thing we're going to do is right here where the, we're going to make sure we get some hot glue here on the side where the dipole enters just to make sure no water gets in there. Now there's other people who say you should just leave it and let the water drain out. Um, I guess you could do that too, but well, if it can't get in, it doesn't have to get out. <laughs> yeah, but you know, if you're making that Carmen Miranda hat and you have a, you have a hot glue gun, I think it's, uh, you know, you got to use it. I mean, let's face it. You bought it. You got to use it. It's tools. So, okay. I'm just going to stick a little bit more hot glue around the connections for the black eye, and then we're all done. So here you got an antenna that basically can do almost everything that you need to do, other than 30 meters and maybe not depending on your height 15 and um all in one nice little package mm -hmm. and it took what uh it took us a little an hour an hour to build um just, just, just put that to okay and, and uh, it'll take a little bit longer obviously because you have to fabricate the little parts but um doing the phenolic thing takes i mean it takes about a half an hour to make the the little oh. PVC half parts and the phenolic part. Um, what, what's, what system do you use for making the round phenolic? Do you use one of those hole drills? Yeah, just you get a hole saw. I have a, I have a couple of like I bought one, my one, first. One of the standard ones comes out just right for that. Yeah, well, it's pretty close. Yeah, and then um, the other thing is like I bought the hole saw uh, in California. Um, I was trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to get coax into my house and um, because it's 115 degrees outside I didn't feel like you know bring it in through a window so um, so I said oh I know what I'll do and I bought a hole saw and I drilled through the side of the house and then stuck PVC pipe through it and then put an elbow on each side so it'd come up and go over and back down again and that way the rain wouldn't get through um, very you know at, at all and so after I bent, burnt out my third hole saw, because you know trying to drill through stucco is a little concrete. tricky. It's a little, yeah, it's concrete. It's, so. But it worked. It, it worked, and it was a nice fit to get the PVC through. And so then, um, you know, so I had this hole saw, and then um, I just, you know, have, for various other things, like I bought one to put doorknobs in a door. You know, that's always good for that kind of thing, and. Uh, so yeah, so you just use a regular hole saw. The, the, the only thing is, it's got that pilot bit in the middle, and so you end up with a little bit of a hole um, off to the side. And you know, but the thing is, you're just going to fill it up with hot glue anyway. So any other questions for anybody from anybody? And if you want, stop by my. Uh, you know, when we when we leave, um, what we can, uh, I'll just stop by my car. It's down in the parking lot, uh, and um, it's, uh, I should have the one that's built on the phenolic board down there, um, the example of that, so I can show you that if you're interested. And that literally takes five minutes to make. Now the follow-up to this is you're going to be installing this over John's house? Yeah, jo this is going to be John's antenna. I, I don't know if, uh, and, uh, I don't know if John's going to do it or if I, I told John I would help him do it, so. Okay. And then we'll have some presentation about how it works and, and everything? Yeah, sure. Well, we'll give you a, we'll give you a follow-up A blow-by-blow picture. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, but, so when, when you t t tune the ladder line, yep. you got to disconnect everything you did on. Well, typically you try not to tune the ladder line. What you try to do is tune the, the, the dipole length. 
So, for example, on mine, on the one that I just put up, um, I made, like I said, I made it slightly longer, so I'd be in the bottom part of the band, because uh, I tend nowadays to be doing CW more than voice. I mean, I still like voice. I, I spent, I think, an hour talking to somebody in Jamaica this morning. Um, 6Y, 6Y, I don't know, if, if, has anybody here worked 6Y, 6Y? So he's, uh, he's down there, and uh, he was down there for the CW, no he wasn't, because he doesn't do CW. So he was down there, I, I guess on vacation or something, anyway, he's got, he's down in Jamaica, and I picked him up on 12 meters this morning, and we just talked for about an hour. Um, uh, just about stuff, you know, propagation, how good it was, and things like that. So, um, but the nice thing about this antenna, I mean, I have a couple of them now that um, just are sitting around in my, my garage in case I want to go out in the field and work. Yeah, I'll take it, take it along with me. And most of the time I use the buddy pole, but if I want to get on 80 meters, I pretty much will bring the, a G5 RV or a ZS6BKW. Other questions? I, I mentioned that the, the top piece, the T that goes between the wires and, yeah. and the letter line. You can buy those at, uh, yeah. at um, uh, Wireman. Wireman. Yeah. yeah, you can buy pretty much, the, you can buy the antenna itself. I, I don't, I think Wireman even sells the whole antenna. I'm not, if not, I know DX, DX Engineering does. And of course, if you buy it from DX Engineering, it's going to be a little bit more expensive because all the parts are stainless steel, um, like the little thing on top is stainless steel. And um, um, but you can buy the whole thing uh, from. All you have to do is just you know, Google uh, ZS6 BKW, and you'll find all kinds of articles, plans. There's short versions of this. Uh, that only have the top part is only 27.9, I think, 28.9, something like that, um, and the the ladder line is equivalently shorter, but that one only goes down to 40 meters. Um, there's plans there for 160 version, um, I, but like I said, I, I don't remember what the dimensions for that one are, but um, for the most part, um, what what I really wanted to show. Um, and I think what John really wanted to show, in addition to just making the antenna, was we wanted to show just, you know, build your own. There's no reason necessarily to, to always buy. Uh, probably the next antenna that I build will probably be the Carolina Wyndham because I'm, uh, both Larry and John have been very uh, vocal about how, they, how much they like theirs, and I've never used, built one or used one, so I think I might be building that and putting it up and just to see how it, you know, how it reacts. Um, I, the other thing I'm, I'm looking for is an end fed, an end, end fed uh, sloper of some sort because, uh, but I'll probably use that as a, a receive only antenna. But I may, and then I may be building the beverage if I have enough room, I gotta go out and measure it all off. But um, I would like to get a better antenna on 160 when I decide what that is, I'll let you know. And I'll let you know how I built it because I don't buy antennas. So, yes, Larry. The beverage that you're referring to, I think they have many different versions of a beverage. Yeah. Because it was built, oh, they were all built by the same guy. And they, yeah. Everything was a beverage. And is is the one you're thinking about the one that's like ten feet off the ground and it goes on, on a long distance? Actually, I think they're only about six feet off the okay. ground. Okay. Yeah. Because I saw one of those when I was up in Maine one time, and <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> that, the, that the antenna he had it just went out but out the window and it just kept going. It did, you know, and it was just. Yeah. Yeah, and I thought I, I didn't realize. Uh, Sam and I were talking about this. I guess Saturday was it? Was it Saturday? We were talking about the beverage. Yeah. And uh, Sam pointed out something that I didn't realize, which is that you have to have it all in a straight line. Yeah. Um, whereas I was thinking I could like, you know, make an L or something like that. So that's why I'm not sure if I have enough room. But I, ne I never saw the end of it. I saw it going out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd have to. I definitely have to get a, uh, a get a uh, tuner for that. Either b by the Icom H4. I think is the automatic tuner that goes with my rig, but um, 
but you should have a remote tuner for that. Um, on the other hand, it's so big that it's just take it right out of the side of your house. And like you say, it goes on forever. But I probably more than likely am going to try to build um, a, a five eighths wave 160 meter inverted L. Um, I'm pretty disappointed with the performance of the quarter wave inverted L. So if I can get enough space to where I can make the 5 8 wave, then I probably will do that. And the nice thing about the 5 8 wave is that it will probably work on, I would say it'll definitely work on 10 meters. It would definitely, I'm sorry, on uh, 30 meters rather. It would definitely work on 10 meters, uh, no, uh, 15 meters. And uh, so, yeah, I think it, uh, th that's a strong possibility that I might do the 5 8 wave inverted L. But again, I got to figure out the distances because now we're talking big antennas. But I'll let you know. Uh, that's not an antenna we'd be building in class, though. <laughs> I need a bigger roof. <laughs> so. Run it off the side of the building. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> throw it out the window, yeah. So anyway, thanks for coming. Thank you. Everybody. Thank it's you. A, it's really I have to tell you. I have to tell you by the way.